We are totally and completely grateful to what God's going to do. Uh, let's just bring the lights up, leave that music playing softly. Um, this morning, the plans were kind of shifted a little bit. Um, we, are, we are deeply honored to have that missions team go do what they've done. And what we want to do right now, the lesson was on the Holy Spirit <clears throat> and the Holy Spirit touching and meeting our every individual needs. And what's going to happen right now, instead of me preaching about it, we're going to be about it. We're going to talk about your needs and what you need God to do in your world and what you need God to transform in your life and what you need God to heal in your situation and what needs to happen with your family or happen with your marriage or happen. We've never done this before, Life Church. But today it's not about us getting and talking about it. It's about you acknowledging that, hey, I've got a need. I've got a new destiny. I've got a career that I'm going into. I've got a new place, a new location. I need God to touch whatever that situation is. So if you're hearing the sound of my voice, all I want you to do is I just want you just to raise your hand in the air. And, and that's a sign to say, listen, I need God to touch me. Let's leave your hand up there for me. And I, I see all those hands. So if you are, you're near somebody that's got their hand raised, that they need a touch, we're going we're gonna to kind of go out our way to put our hands on them and pray for them and lay hands on them and just touch, just look around you. If you, if you just came from Nicaragua, I want you to go find somebody. If, you, if you're here in the room, we've not ever done this before, but we want to, don't, you leave your hand in the air. You leave your hand in the air until somebody comes and touches you. Pastor John and Julie, would y'all help us? You leave your hand in the air until somebody comes and touches you. What God's going to do with you is he's going to cause your situation to be turned around. We've never done this before. But I want God to touch you and I want God to heal you and I want the person of the Holy Spirit to minister to what those needs are. We've got someone right back there in the back that needs a, needs a touch. We've got one right here that needs a touch. Someone stand in agreement with him. And we're just going to ask you need healing in your body. We're just going to ask the Holy Spirit to do it. You're going to ask the Holy Spirit to do it, and he's going to bless you. Leave your hand up. If nobody's touched you, we want somebody to touch you. Kendall, you got one right in front of you that needs a touch too. So touch him. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, that we could just invite your presence into this place, that we talk about the Holy Spirit, and today's lesson was supposed to be about the gifts of the Holy Spirit, faith and miracles and healings and all those types of things that the Holy Spirit gives us words of knowledge and words of wisdom. And Father, we just want to let this moment be a moment that you touch your people, that you minister to every single need that they have, God, that you would minister to every broken heart, that you would cause their lives to be transformed, that you cause their lives to be made new, that you cause hope to be restored where hopelessness exists, God, that you cause healing to flow into their body, God, where there's something sick or something broken as cancerous cells in our body. In the name of Jesus, we command those cancerous cells to die in Jesus' mighty name. We invite your presence, Holy Spirit, that we want to experience you in greater measure. And this is your moment. This is your season. This is your time to manifest yourself to us as your people. So in the name of Jesus, I'm asking you, God, just to heal every broken place. God, that you would cause a life that's been sucked out of your people and a hope that's been sucked out of your people and negativity that's come out of your, that's been in your people, that you would just break that off, God, and you would cause a spirit of hope and a spirit of restoration and a spirit of peace to transform the lives of your people, that you would cause the destinies and the calling that you have for your people to be manifest to them, God, that you would cause them to know that this is not a coincidence, it's not an accident that they came to Life Church today. It's because you wanted to touch them and you wanted to minister to them and you wanted to extend your hope to them. So in the name of Jesus, I'm praying, God, that you would just help every relational situation. God, I'm praying for families right now that you cause a family structure to be restored for moms that are worn out from trying to do every single job. The single mothers in this room in the name of Jesus, I'm asking God to give you strength. God, I pray that you would just pour out your spirit, that you would do a restorative work in marriages, that you cause every broken and wounded place in relationships and in marriages to be restored in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for this church that you'd forgive Every single sin and transgression and iniquity of Life Church and the, and the people that make Life Church up. So, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking God that you would pour out your spirit on every single uh, teen that's in this room, that you cause them to know that 
you are with them, you're for them, that your hand goes before them, that you're blessing them. God, we pray your choice blessings on this city. We cry out to you, God, for Saline County. We cry out to you, God, for Marshall, Missouri. We cry out that you would pour out your spirit, Father God, on the young and the old, that you would cause the old men to dream dreams. You cause the young to see visions and prophesy that you would do a great and mighty work through the relationships that we have in this city, in this community, in this region, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, God, also for our city government. We pray, God, that you would just cause all those who are in leadership in our county, God, that you would forgive every single seed of, of iniquity in the name of Jesus, that you would cause those individuals' hearts to be filled with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you would bless them. Father, we pray for the education system in this city in the name of Jesus. We pray for leaders that are going to stand for what's right. We thank you, God, that you're raising up the righteous army of individuals that are going to stand firm with you and stand for what's right and ask your choice blessings over our, our teachers and our administrators and, our, and the, and the uh, students that make up our school. We pray for our university and Missouri Valley College. God, I thank you so much for Kim and Adam and their outreach to Missouri Valley and the, the teams that are represented in this room today because of the blessing that's on them. And I pray your choice blessings over Kim and, and Adam and their ministry and, and, and uh, Strong Conference and everything that you're doing for Faith RX through that ministry. In the name of Jesus, I pray your choice blessings. So Father, I thank you so much for what you're doing in and through the lives of these, your people. I ask your choice blessings over them and precious Holy Spirit. I pray that even every every single thing that I did not mention that you see and you, you know that the individuals in this room need, I pray God that you would just meet every single need, that you cause your blessings to be poured out on your people. I thank you God for words of wisdom and words of knowledge and prophecy. I thank you God for healing that's, that's taking place now. I thank you God that you're releasing miracles in this room. I thank you, God, that you're causing tongues and interpretation of tongues to be manifest through this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying your choice blessings over every situation represented here in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise for it. Amen and amen. Everybody love the Lord said amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. Hook somebody, just bless them and bless them and bless them.